Hey, how's it going folks? It's been a while since you've all been in here. This is my man cave, as you know. And uh, if you look behind me, or rather next to me, uh, I've got some space in my, uh, in my racks. Yeah, let me just show it to you because uh, I have actually cleared out some of the uh, cars which were actually duplicates. Uh, many thanks to Johan for helping me out with this because uh, I couldn't tell which were duplicates. <laughs> and he came over and he pulled out all the duplicates. And of course, I've still got all my golf cars, uh, as you know. And I've got a 1-1 one -one scale model golf car outside, which I'm really, really, really happy about. So today I thought I'd do a very quick uh, unboxing of some models which I have gotten recently. Yeah, well, no, I'm not going to unbox those because that's a whole set from Japan. And I've decided to keep the F40 in the, uh, in the case as well, including the uh, Mercedes-Benz 280 SEL 4.5 and the 380 SL as well. Sorry, SEL. So anyway, yes, we are in day what? Five of the uh, CMCO for uh, Selangor and Wilaya. And uh, in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a skull cap, this... Uh, I found out that uh, apparently bald men are more susceptible to the COVID-19 uh, virus. Yeah, apparently they, it goes in through your head or something like that, which is complete and utter nonsense, I guess. But I just thought I'd show off my new skull cap, which uh, I might be using in place of a basketball cap. Uh, basketball? Baseball cap. And uh, <laughs> yeah, use that instead. So anyway, what do I have in store for you? Well, some of you actually saw this. This was the um, Cosmo that I'd actually uh, used to cover the phone number of Elvin, who left me a, a wonderful note asking to buy my, um, my uh, brick wagon out there. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd unbox this. And uh, this is the latest one that I've bought so far. I think I bought this like a few days before, before CMCOs hit. Uh, so let's, let's have a look, yeah? Um, and we'll go through this as well. So let's see. Yeah, I know some of you have been asking about an unboxing video. Uh, of my models. If you notice, I've already uh, created a playlist for model cars, so you can actually have a look at that in my playlists. And here we go, so I'll put this aside. So the official term for this is the Nerve Official Business Coupe from Dream Tomica. You see that? And uh, yeah, this is the first time it's opening, so <laughs> made in Japan Air maybe. Where is this made anyway? Made in Vietnam, sorry. CBU Vietnam Air. So here we go, there's the coupe. Oh, very nice. Can you see that? It's very cool. And it says, uh, Tomika Tomi Cosmo Sport, made in Vietnam. And this one, the door's open, which is kind of nice. Check that out. So yeah, that can go up here. I've got lots of space. I'm, I'm leaving uh, one, two, three, plus 10, 13 spaces for, the, uh, for more gulfs to come in. So I'll just put this up here. As you know, I usually do this. I will, I will um, collapse the box. Ooh, there's a QR code here. I wonder where that goes to. I would collapse the box and um, use it as a backdrop for the car. So yeah, I do this quite often. You can, you can see a few that I've done, like uh, over here. So what's behind here is actually the box of the car that has been collapsed and uh, now becomes a like a you know like a housing for the car. Sorry, I've collapsed it the wrong way. There we go. So I collapse it like this. Yeah, I know some of you are cringing right now because I'm killing a, a genuine Tomica box. But uh, now it closes just like that. Then I put it inside. And I put the car on top of it, like so. So then what you have is a nice car with its own box as a stage for want of a better expression yeah some of them have it some of them don't it depends it all depends on the box there we go i hope you can see me because um, i can't see what i'm shooting right now the uh, viewing screen is at the back so next we have a couple more um okay you know what i'm going to save the tomikas for later these these were a present a birthday present uh, so was this by the way <laughs> This, these were a birthday present from my buddy Johan, who actually got me these wonderful cars. He knows I'm a big Alfa Romeo fan. And this is a 33 Stradale from 1969. Check that out. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. You want to see how beautiful it is? I'll show you how beautiful it is. Look away now, okay? If you don't like unboxing stuff. In fact, if you don't like unboxing stuff, you shouldn't be watching this video 
in the first place. So yeah, look away. Look away, baby, look away. Don't look at me. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh man. That is gorgeous. Thank you, Johan. This is beautiful. It's made by Hot Wheels, made in Thailand. Hot Wheels Thailand. And it says uh, 1969 Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale. Sorry, yes, yeah, uh, from Thailand. Sawadee Kap. But it's a 33 Stradale. And it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You know what? I might keep this actually because the picture looks really good. Yeah. So, yes, this definitely goes up here for sure. Nice. Super nice. The other one is, of course. <laughs> The 2000 GT. <sighs> Sorry. Yes. From You Never Live. You Only Live Twice. Bond's car. I think I told you this before, but the... Um, yeah, don't look. The uh, This this uh, convertible version of the 2000 GT, which I have up there, uh, was actually purpose-built or purpose-made for the movie. Uh, Toyota never wanted a convertible of the... Uh, oh, it's so beautiful. Toyota never wanted a convertible of the 2000 GT. They didn't have it in the cards. It was never planned for. But when they shit the unit over uh, during the shooting of uh, 007 You Only Live Twice, they found out that Sean Connery, yes, Miss Money Penner, Sean Connery couldn't fit in the car. So the only way to get him in the car, because Sean Connery is a big guy, was to lop off the roof. And so, yeah, that's what they did. They lopped off the roof, sent it back, and lo and behold, the Toyota 2000 GT was born. Oh, this one's made in Malaysia. Nice. It says 2000 GT Roadster and it's a metal base as well. So this is this is really good stuff. Thank you, Johan. Very nice. Love it. Absolutely love it. So I'm going to put it up there together with the hard top. You want to see the hard top? There's the hard top. You see? That's the hard top and the convertible. So nice. So yeah, I'm going to have to move something. Maybe I'll move the Mitsuoka Roadster and uh, Ora Orochi, the Mitsuoka Orochi Roadster and put this 2000 GT there. Lovely, lovely. Uh, how can I do this? Maybe I'll just cut this out, fold it and put it at the back. But yeah, I'll do that later. Oh, it's got its own standee. Ooh, that's nice. I wonder if that'll fit. Yeah, I can make that fit. So, you know, like, just fold this like that and like that. And then like that, and like that, and like that. And put it here, and put the car in front of it. Yeah, I think I'll work that out later. It's very cool. Lovely, so next on the list. So we've gone through these as well. What, what do we have? Oh yes, I got this recently as well. It's another 2000 GT, yes. I guess you can tell I'm pretty crazy about the 2000 GT. And this one uh, was for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, Tokyo 2020. I don't know why they made one as uh, Olympic Games. I don't think they, well, they're not making this car new anymore. So maybe this was, uh, it says Karate on the side. So it says Karate on the side. I don't know if you can see that. Um, What's the story with this? Uh, okay, let's see. Tokyo Olympic Games 2020, which of course didn't happen. Thank you, COVID-19. Build your Hot Wheels collection by visiting www.hotwheels.com and enter the code to showcase your cars. <gasps> I can showcase my cars. Okay, maybe I shall do that. Maybe I shall do that. But yeah, there's no history on this as to why a 2000 GT was made as a Tokyo Olympics car. But uh don't know. But anyway, it's coming out of the box. Don't look, don't look, don't look. There we go. Yes, I know I've probably just devalued this by about 50%, but um, I love looking at the cars. And this is made in Malaysia. Okay, and sent to Japan for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Yes, it's another 2000 GT. So this shall go here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna use this little standy for one whole section of my 2000 GTs. Yes, that is a good idea. I think I shall do that. Okay, next. Oh, you guys are gonna like this one. 
it's a Golf 2001 Skyline GTR. Yes, you gotta say the um, you gotta say the GTR with a bit of aggro, you know, a bit of angst. Like, uh, GTR, GTR, BNR 34. Hey, yeah, that's what it says here, BNR 34. But there is a car in Malaysia with this number plate from Selangor, BNR 34. And uh, the plate on that car, I mean, it's just epic, absolutely epic. So yes, I'm sorry, but Tokyo Torque is going to be unboxed. And these are, you know, this, these, these boxes are the hardest. Together with this uh, green light, two, 240Z, beautiful. Yeah, these are the hardest to actually uh, to open. So I'm going to save that for later. Okay, these can be moved to the side. Save that for later. Put that here. No, there's no place to put it. Check this out. Can you guess what's inside here? Because this is really old and it's got its own plastic box. So I'm not going to cut into this. But it says number 27 and it's Tomica Event Model. Okay. There's a, a QR code here and it doesn't even, it's a thousand yen. And no, I didn't buy this in Japan. I bought this locally. And, uh, <laughs> I'm actually curious to see what's inside because I don't remember. This was a long time back. I don't remember what's inside. I don't remember what car it is because it's got its own plastic case. But, uh, oh, this is exciting. Everything's in Japanese. So I have no idea what's inside. Let's find out together. I can't remember. I can't, honestly, I cannot remember what's inside. Are you ready? Let's. Oh, it's a 350Z. Oh, is it a 370Z? Oh, hello. Hello, Tomica event model. Tomica told me Nissan Fairlady Z 2008 made in China. Wow, nice. Yes, me likey, me likey, likey. Cool. So, again, as usual, I shall uh, preserve the box. I don't know if you guys do this or not, or maybe you don't, don't even open it, but you know what? When it's inside here, I couldn't even tell what model it was. So, you know, it had to come out. It had to come out. And uh, number 27 of an event model. So I'll just fold that, turn it into a base like what I did earlier. And uh, yeah, I know, killing the box. But uh, yep, CBU China Air is <gasps> No COVID, uh. no COVID. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, that was stupid. So yep, put it in here like that. And put the 350Z, 370Z in there. And I have one more. Yes, again, I don't know what it is. So let's find out together if I can get this open. It's really cool that it's got its own uh, plastic cake. Ooh, that it's got its own uh, plastic. Ow, twice, deja vu, holy cow. So yeah, there we go. It says Tokyo Motor Show number four, RX-8. Okay, so we know it's an RX-8. <laughs> this one, this one, this one. Sorry, no surprise. It's a Mazda RX-8. Oh, yes. Very, very cool. Check this out. Check this out. Tokyo Motor Show RX-8. Year 2000. I was... Sorry, 2003. Yes, I was there. I have not missed Tokyo Motor Show. And I hope I don't miss it next year, 2021. I hope the COVID-19 is away and gone by then. Fingers crossed. So I can visit Tokyo Motor Show 2021. Nice. RX-8. Very cool. So, yep, again, I shall kill the box by folding it in and putting it onto my rack, like so. Tokyo Motor Show 2003. Mazda RX-8, that was the premiere, I think. That was the premiere of the, of the RX-8. And this is made by Tomy. And it's 800 yen. So how much is that in ringgit? Double the price and it's yours. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Very few of my models are for sale, but the ones that have been uh, taken down, yeah, those are for sale. And uh, if anybody wants them, those are my premier personal collection. And you shall have a piece of history. No, just a piece of my of my collection. Made in China. Again, okay. So that goes up there. Now, are we ready for the pièce de résistance? Which one shall I unveil first? Which one should I unwrap first, the classic or the modern classic? I think we'll go with the modern classic. So these things are crazy hard to open. I shall use a very potent knife here. 
Uh, in case you're wondering, this is what you call a tanto head. It looks like a shark tanto head. Uh, normal normal knives have uh, uh, normal heads. Let me try and find you a. Let me try and find you an example. Ah, here's a nice example. This is just a normal normal uh, stabbing head pen knife. Whereas this is a tanto head, and apparently tanto heads have better piercing power. I don't want to find out. So how are we going to open this? Because it's really, really, really quite sealed. And there we go. Just like that. Just like that, I guess. So, yes. Getting to the model, which has as little intrusion as possible. There. Okay, so I'm going to use that uh, base again for the car. And there it is. And of course, it's a golf, and it's gorgeous. Beautiful, look at that. Can you see that? I hope you can see that, I hope it's not getting blurred. Is it getting blurred? Never mind. But there we go, I'll hold it like this so you can see it. And yeah, metal base. Ooh, it's even got the little diagram of the engine, and uh, sorry, the end, the uh, powertrain at the bottom. Nice. What's it say? Green light made in China, 2061. No, you're a bit in the future there. G Nissan GTR 2001, yeah, not 2061, 2001. Nissan GTR, so that will nicely go here with the. Whoa, hang on a second. Oh, rubber tires. Cool. So that will go here. And I don't think I have a BNR34 in, in Gulf livery. So, yeah, that was a must get. That was definitely a must get. So that's up there already. And here we go, the last one. Sorry, as you know, it's a bit boring here. Can't really go out. I don't want to go out unnecessarily, um, unless it's like an emergency. Like if I cut my finger off right now, yeah, then I would have to go out. But uh, no, unnecessarily, I don't want to go out. I just want to stay in and uh, curb this spread of the virus, which is no joke. Yeah, it is really no joke. Oh, look at that! Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Again, I shall use this base here up there. But, oh, that is pretty. That is really pretty. Mmm. Me likey. 240Zs. And I'm a sucker for anything golf and anything 240Z. So, 1970 Datsun 240Z number 24. Under license. Mm. Green light made in China. Rubber wheels, metal base. Lovely. Look at that. So, yeah. Very, very nice. I, again, I know a lot of people like, you know, oh, how could you do that? How could you do that? It's, it's so beautifully wrapped. But you know, to me, it's like you get Christmas presents or birthday presents and you just leave them in the box and be like, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Without knowing what's inside. So I like to know what's inside. And there we go. That's it. Okie dokie. So thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. It's been a while since I've done this. And uh, so quite happy to do it. Actually. and um, if you've got any requests any comments please leave it down there uh, should I keep this should, can I keep wearing this or go back to my baseball cap whatever you know it's cool and uh, I'll just give you one last walk around of my collection here without trying to so there we go there they are yes a lot of people have asked which are my favorites I can't really answer that question because I like them all I mean look at that that is so gorgeous. Yeah. So again, when I feel a little bit like, you know, meh, I'll just come in here, check out my cars. In case all of you are wondering where my cars have been, they're still here. I've just cleared up some space. So the new ones that went in today, there's the Cosmo, there's the BNR32, or the 34. There we go. And of course the Alfa Romeo. Absolutely gorgeous. So cool. I've got a lot of 240s lying around. They're all over the place actually. So maybe I'll put another, just you know, one column of 240Zs. This is one of the oldest cars in my collection. It's a Bugatti Atlantic. And it's very, very old. And there's the other 240. Uh, sorry, 2000 GT with the hardtop in which Sean Connery couldn't fit. So they locked off the roof. 
Anyway, oh, you want to see the oldest car in, somebody asked actually, the oldest car in my collection, which one is it? It's not this, it's it's almost this, this Celica is very, very old, uh, as is this one. You can see the box, even the box is different. Uh, this is an unpainted uh, Tomica Limited Vintage TLVN or something like that, yeah. But one of the oldest, this uh, Lotus Elcat, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's it's really... Oh, sorry, the Europa, and this one is made in England. Can you see that? Made in England. So, yeah, this is pretty old, 1969. And, uh, yeah, I think this is the oldest one in my collection because earlier was one from Japan, which was a... Uh, there it is. Oh, Mazda RX-3. This one. And this was in... Uh, oh, damn. Made in Japan, but no... Uh, no date. Yeah, sadly no date. I need to find out about this because this one's really old. I found it in a junk shop in Japan and uh, brought it back. Somebody offered me a hundred ringgit for it the other day and I was like, no, sorry. Mm -mm. That one's got sentimental value. I was walking all over Japan and I stumbled on a junk shop selling really old cars uh, and buses and stuff like that. So, pick that up. Oh, that's the other Cosmo right there. There we go. So yeah, these these are my prides and joys. Very very happy every time I come in here and see my collection. Um, I was thinking about getting another rack to put up there, which means I got to move all that and I have to place it above the switch because I don't want to remove the switch and drill the wall and put the switch somewhere else. But uh, you know what? I think I'm going to make do with three racks. I think 300. Yes, 300 is good enough. 100, 200, 300. So 300. Yes. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour. And uh, stay tuned. Next up, maybe I'll give you a tour of this. This is, this is my receipt from Up Garage for my stuff, which I'm just keeping here until I find out what I can do with it. Stuff that I bought from Up Garage, which now is in some of my cars. But in the meantime, you all take care, be safe. Don't go out unless it's absolutely necessary. And if you do, please wear a mask, maintain social distancing. Try not to touch anything or anyone if you can. Okay, take care, you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.